It's time. It's time. It's time. For what? For the Curious Giraffe Show. Sit back and relax so oh. We'll sing chat and laugh oh, on the Curious Giraffe Show. I am so glad you're here and we're going to sing the Who's Who song and then we're going to find out who's on the crew today. So, okay. Who's who on the Curious Crew? I am Dorothy with a show for you. This is Jeanette. Hi. Hi. And this is George. He's the quiet one. Now who else is on the Curious Crew? You. you. All right. And Lauren is helping Jeanette today. So you two, would you introduce the crew today? What's your name? Emily. <coughs> Hi, Hi, Emily. Emily. What's your name? Milo. Hi, Hi Milo. Milo. What's your name? Susanna. Hi, Hi Susanna. Susanna. What's your name? Eliza. Hi, Hi Eliza. Eliza. What's your name? Donay. Hi, Hi Donay. What's your name? Dorothy. Hi, Dorothy. Hi. What's your name? Lauren. Hi, Hi Lauren. <laughs> Thank you, Lauren, very much. And now let's see what the giraffes are wondering about. They're curious giraffes, and they're always wondering about something. So we're going to sing the verse about the sky, and then we're going to sing their new questions. So here we go. Get your hands ready for the sign language on the chorus, okay? Okay. All right. Giraffe looked over at eagle and said, Why was I born to walk? Why were you born to fly? Eagle just shrugged and gave a high five. Hey, we all share one big sky. Oh, yeah. Share one big sky. Share one big sky. Give the world a big high five. Yeah, we're different and we know it, but we all get along. Because we can all share and we can all care. We're different, but we all belong they're wondering about today. Giraffe looked out at the darkness at night. It makes me kind of nervous when there isn't any light. I wonder what is making all that noise at night underneath this one dark sky. Oh yeah, here we go. Share one big sky, share one big sky. Give the world a big high five. Yeah, we're different get along because we can all share and we can all care we're different but we all belong so today it's in day on the curious giraffe show so in their new new questions what are some of the in words they're asking about night, or they, night. night. nervous nervous uh, noise noise that's fine. You were thinking of some of those, I bet. Let's see. Night, nervous, noise. Yes. Yes. Do you have another idea, Susanna? I forgot. That's fine. That's what they mentioned. We might come up with some other in ideas. Now, how do you feel about darkness and nighttime? Yes, Eliza. I love it because you can go sneak outside and your parents don't know. <laughs> if it's okay. summer, if it's winter, yeah. that's not so good. Yeah. You might yeah. change your mind. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You might not <laughs> want to do that. Yeah. Who else? How, how do you feel about the nighttime? <laughs> yes. I love it. You love it too. <laughs> do, you, do you know what you love about it? I love about sneaking out. In you have the same feeling. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, All right. Well, let's see. I thought it would be fun as we think about nature's nighttime noises, which is what you would hear if you went outside. I thought we could pretend to have a camp out here on our show, which is why you all have sleeping bags today. So we're going to sing a song about camping that my friend Sammy Hayes made up. And if you want to um, lie down, you can, or you can sit up, but try to sing with me as you catch on, okay? Um, I think you'll get too warm later on. Okay, we're going to settle into that. We set up our equipment. Here we go. Camping tonight, camping tonight, under the stars with the moon so bright. A whipper will call and a loon responds. Then the fun begins at the pond. 
I walked down to the pond just to check it out. Suddenly I heard a splash. What's that all about? There's something swimming toward me. I think I better run. Oh no, it's no big deal. It's just frogs having some fun. Okay, camping tonight. Camping tonight. Under the stars with the moon so bright. A gentle wind calls and the mountain agrees. Then the fun begins in the trees. A mosquito the size of an airplane buzzes round, tries to bite me on the nose and makes a whiny sound. Those peepers are so noisy, it's louder here than back in town. I'll jump into my sleeping bag and I won't hear a sound. Ah, oh, it's quiet. Camping tonight, camping tonight. Under the stars with the moon so bright. A coyote calls and it's understood. Then the fun begins in the wood. Quirk, quirk, quirk. Oh no, it's a bear. He's rummaging in my backpack for something that's in there. Oh no, he's coming closer for that candy bar I had. Oh, phew, it's just my dad. Camping tonight. Here's another adventure in the woods. A furry black fellow with a white strap down its back is waddling in front of me. He looks just like a cat. Oh, here, kitty, kitty, I have a treat for you. He turns and smiles, his tail stands up. What happens next? P.U. Uh oh, what was it? <laughs> Camping tonight, camping tonight Under the stars with the moon so bright Ooh. So now we've been by a pond and by the mountain and in the woods. So I have another friend, Matt Fernald, oh. who has a friend, Dr. Jean, who made a fun Stink little good night, a skunk lullaby, they call it. Stink, Stink, Stink a link. Yeah, go ahead. You want to say it? Stink a link a link. That's Stink a link a link. Okay, so here we go. And now you can sit up because you're going to do the signs for the twink a link. Okay, so. The stars at night go twinkle-link-a-link away up in the sky. The moon at night goes wink-a-link-a-link -a -link and shines right in my eye. The skunk at night goes twinkle-link-a-link. -link. I wish she'd pass right by. Oh, twinkle-link-a-link. Another good night song at night. <sighs> yeah, yawn. I figured you might be. <laughs> now, here's this time of year. That's a tree. What do they call this time of year? Ball. 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 Okay, and so my oh, friend right Sammy, right there, right there. who wrote the song about camping, Sammy Hayes also wrote a song about <clears throat> balls falling, <clears throat> which I thought was a great idea. Okay, so. When the leaves turn colors, come falling down. You'll know Paul's falling, falling all around. And the squirrels scurry, scamper up and down. You'll know Paul's falling, falling all around. And the geese. 
east by south in a capital V with their honking and flapping they're a sight to see and the animal babies are told by their moms let's get some sleep now ball's falling down Good. When the garden flowers bow down their head, you'll know falls falling, falling all around. When the orange pumpkins turn big and brown, you'll know falls falling, falling all around. And what do the geese do? And the geese fly south. Honking and flapping, they're a sight to see. And the animal babies are told by their moms, come get some sleep now, all's falling down. So I do think that those animal babies feel safe outside the way that <coughs> Susanna and Eliza do, but. And why do you think the geese are flying south? Let's let Donay. Um, because it's too cold. <coughs> they feel the cold. And what's it like down south? Uh, it's warm. <laughs> yeah, they're smart. Okay. So, but I think, yes, this is what, oh, yes. Oh, Eliza. and um, Dad was, when we were on a canoe trip once, mm -hmm. Dad was talking about, we were talking about how the geese hold on one foot with one foot in their feathers, and then they switch. When they they're see. flying? Or no, what, on, the on, on ice. On they ice. They tuck one foot into their feathers, and they stand on one foot, and they switch after a little bit. You just switch. have told me something I never knew before. What? That's really smart. They and, warm up their feet that way. And Dad was like, if you could find a goose that was smart enough, like if you could make like little booties for ducks, yes, that and make it and put them on a ducks on a duck that was smart enough to not take them off, <laughs> then they could just stand with both feet on the ice. Right, right. <laughs> but that's a really neat thing to learn. That's how nature figures out when they don't have boots how to manage on the ice. Okay. Well, I had a friend named Peter Edwards who thought it was really scary at night, and because. He would hear sounds and not know what they were. And so he made up a fun song that helps. If you're scared at night, it's fun to sing a song, isn't it? No, Be less I scared. Do this and do this song. Okay. Um, I ain't as scared of things I see or nothing on the prowl. The shadows never frighten me or sound. I walk the darkened streets with ease without a sign of fright. But someone please protect me please from things that go bump in the night. Things that go bump it itty bump in the night. Things that go bump it itty bump in the night. Things that go bump it thumpity clumpity. Things that go bump any bump in the night. I always try to snuff my light and leap into my bed and pull the covers up real tight and snuggle down my head. But just before I close my eyes, I always think I see, uh-oh, a beastie crawling in my room, a coming after me. Things that go bump, bump in the night. Things that go bump, biddy bump in the night. Things that go bump, biddy thump, biddy clump, biddy. Things that go bump, biddy bump. I try to yell, but nothing comes. My throat's completely dry. 
I flail my arms around my neck, but can't bring up a cry. I scrunch my neck down to my knees. I'm just a ball of fright. Oh, someone please protect me, please, from things that go bump in the night. Things that go bump, bitty bump in the night. Things that go bump, bitty bump in the night. Things that go bump, bitty thump, bitty clump, bitty. Things that go bump. Ever hear anything go bump in the night? Yeah. yeah. What do you hear, think we it have is? like mouse in the walls, and <gasps> oh. like I'm, and I'm in the corner, so I hear them like right, basically right next to me. And I'm like, ah. yeah, that's a hard <laughs> sound. And I'm like, I'm like I'm reading, and I'm like, stay silent, stay <laughs> silent. Nobody yeah. will notice me. <laughs> okay. Right. Yes. Ma mouses and rats and like. Well, our house is really close to a street, so once mm -hmm. in a while I see lights coming into our room, and I hear bump, thump, Okay, yeah, that is really yeah. scary. Well, no, it one, one time, it one time, my friend and I were, were sleeping, and we heard this <coughs> rustle, 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 rustle. And in the daytime, if you heard a rustle, rustle, you'd look and you'd know if it's a squirrel or something. But... <laughs> There's a nighttime sound. Wonder what that could be. Crickets. Crickets. Could be. That's so cool. So my friend was really, really scared. And so I finally, finally got up and I shined a flashlight. And do you know what it was? Flash. It was the most beautiful baby deer. And it had come near oh. us. It was perfectly safe. But we had been very nervous. Yes. Ma Mom cool. and Dad have seen a peacock. <coughs> Peacock and I've seen a swan. Yeah, we've both we've both seen a peacock. Like it was a female peacock. Those yeah, ones and are I, very and special. And I've seen a swan. Yeah. Those are very very special. Okay, well each show I try to have something in our mystery box. Today we're going to do something we haven't done before. Now you can get into your sleeping bags to have a bedtime story before you go to sleep in the woods. Okay. If you want to, if you prefer to, to sit on top of your sleeping bag, that's okay, too. Okay? So this is a book that my friend Joni Calum wrote, and she, it's called Over in the Meadow on a Halloween Night. Okay? And when you catch on, you can sing it with me because it's a song that she wrote about a Halloween night. And it's this time of year, the fall leaves are changing colors, just like in Sammy's song. Let's see. Now, in the back of her book, she has the music written down. So I can look at it and go, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that's the tune, okay? So I'm going to turn it. So, Over in the meadow on a Halloween night. That's going to be the same every verse. So let's start together, and then you listen to the story. You can sing with me that first line. Over in the meadow on a Halloween night Lived a mama ghost and her little ghost white Moaned, said the mama, I'll moan, said the sprite And she moaned and she groaned on a Halloween night Now we're going to keep going, okay? We have a lot. If you want to make a moan or a groan Okay, here's the next verse over in the meadow neath the Halloween moon Lived a mama cat and her little cats too Yowl, said the mama, we yowl, said the two And they yowled and they growled neath the Halloween moon Yowl! <laughs> okay Over in the meadow neath the Halloween tree Lived a mama bat and her little bats three. Screech, said the mama, we screech, shriek the three. And they screeched and they shrieked by the Halloween tree. <coughs> screech. <coughs> Those are good bat noises. All right. 
Over in the meadow where the autumn leaves soar, lived a mama vampire and her little vampires four. Flap, said the mama, we flap, roared the four, and they flapped and were flew where the autumn leaves soar. So if you can see the pictures, it's children dressed up on Halloween. Okay, so all these characters are children having a good time. Here we go. Over in the meadow by an empty beehive lived a mama mummy and her little mummies five. Stomp, said the mama, we stomp, said the five. So they stomped and they romped by the empty beehive. You've got good rhythm. Okay, here. Over in the meadow in the stones and the sticks lived a mama skeleton and her little skeleton six. Dance, said the mama, we dance, sang the six. And they danced and they pranced in the stones and the sticks. Over in the meadow with the moon near heaven lived a mama witch and her little witch is seven. Fly, said the mama, we fly, sang the seven, and they cackled and they hackled with the moon up near heaven. <laughs> Over in the meadow as the night grew late, lived a mama goblin and her little goblins ate. Munch, said the mama, we munch, cried the eight, and they munched and they crunched as the night Late. Munching and crunching. <laughs> okay. Over in the meadow on a web so fine lived a mama spider and her little spiders nine. Spin, said the mama, we spin, side the nine. And they spun and had fun on a web so fine. Oh, yeah, it's covering me. Oh, yeah, spin. Sorry, give you a minute to spin. Spider was covering me. Okay, next verse. Over in the meadow in a foggy moonlight pen lived a mama pumpkin and her little pumpkins ten. Glow, said the mama, we glow like the tin, and they glowed silly faces in the foggy moonlit glen. One more. Over in the meadow on a Halloween night, all the creatures played in the bright moonlight. Play, sang the mamas, we play, sang the sprites, and they played and they swayed on a Halloween night. Yay! All right, so that's your good night story in our campground. We're going to try to sleep now. Okay. That was the song and the pictures were by my friend Joni. Okay. I like that book. That was nice. I, yeah, she did a great job making that book. Okay, oh, now it's the one. sleeping bag song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. get oh. ready. Oh. And ready to say, I was lying oh, in my sleeping in bag. I couldn't get to sleep so when the wind I began to howl. And the bugs began to creep, so I rolled to the left, rolled toward me, rolled to the left, and I rolled to the right, and I heard every sound that you hear at night. What sound do you hear at night? Owl. 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 Let's hear it. Okay. Let's do it again. I was lying in my sleeping bag and couldn't get to sleep when the wind began to howl and the bugs began to creep. So I rolled to the left and I rolled to the right and I heard every sound that you hear at night. What else? Crickets. Crickets. Bats. Make make little cricket sounds. And what were you saying? Bats. And bats, do you know what sound they make? Sort of like a clicking yeah. sound. All right. 
So it's so hard to sleep. Shall we do one more? Yeah. yeah. Think, be thinking of some more sounds. Here we go. I was lying in my sleeping bag. I couldn't get to sleep. So I when the, no, when the wind began to howl and the bugs began to creep. So I rolled to the left and I rolled to the right and I heard every sound that you hear at night. What else? What else do you hear? Sometimes I hear a dog. Coyotes. 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 What do, sound do they make? And did I hear? Or sometimes bears. Bears. And what sound would you hear? Okay. And I forgot to tell you that my friend Carol Stevens made up that wonderful song. So that's a song that could go on and on with different night sounds. But now, since we can't sleep, I'm going to invite you to stand up, and we're going to do a little dance. Well, how about just on them, on them, okay? So you each have your spot. And this is a... Okay, it's all right. Just stand right on it, okay? And this song was, is called Up All Night by Zach Burba. He is also, he's the son of some, a friend of mine. They sent me this song. Okay, you ready to do a rhythm dance? Because yeah. we can't sleep anyway, right? No. Okay. Oh, I Ra can't okay, so it's going to be an echo song. Okay. okay, ready? Raccoons digging in the trash. Raccoons digging in the trash. And bats that never, ever crash. And bats that never, ever crash. Owls flying around. Looking for a mouse. I was flying around, looking, looking for, for a mouse. mouse. And Sally Stunks skaking up the house. And Sally Stunks skaking up the house. And then we all sing together. Some animals, Some animals are, are nocturnal. They're up all night. Some animals are nocturnal. And they don't need the light. Some animals are nocturnal. They use the night to eat and play. Some animals are nocturnal, and they sleep during the day. Here we go. Porcupines with needles oh so sharp. Your turn. Porcupines with needles oh so sharp. And opossums hanging upside down in the dark. And opossums hanging upside down. Dark. At dawn in the woods, deer leap out of sight. At dawn in the woods, deer leap out of sight. And panthers roaming around the jungle at night. And panthers roaming around the jungle at night. Nice. Some animals are nocturnal. They are up all night. Some animals are nocturnal. They don't need the light. Some animals are nocturnal. They use the night to eat and play. Some animals are nocturnal. And they sleep during the day. I would go camping with you all any time. You are fun to be with. And it's basically what my teacher said, that she would take us anywhere on a field trip because we were so good. <laughs> Isn't that nice when your teacher says that? Okay, well it is time for us to say goodbye to our show today. And we say we keep singing, keep looking up, keep asking questions, and never give up. Okay? Keep singing, keep looking up, keep asking questions, and never give up. Keep singing, keep looking up, keep asking questions and never give up. See you next time. Bye-bye. My arms are too newly to open the door. I hope that my legs aren't or I'll be on the floor. <laughs> when it is windy, I can't go out and play. My arms are too noodly that I'll fly away. When I try to be helpful and listen.
ripped heavy things. My noodly arms are as skinny as strings. <laughs> They're no good at baseball or picking up bugs. But when arms are noodly, they give the best hug.